welcome you're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Mona Lisa Rumbai, bringing to you the solution news across the globe. On 23rd April 2024 was Earth Day and while the sight of heaps of plastic loaded garbage in the cities is a depressing reminder of how much work needs to be done allow the electric auto rickshaws, a three-wheeler vehicle, popular passenger taxi commonly used to drive by the fisher women of Kolam to bring you some positive vibes with their empowered use of clean transport. On 13 of April 2024, seven licensed women drivers drove into the future in their own e-autos in the seventh phase of the WE Auto Women Empowerment Through Electric Autos initiative in Kolam, Kerala, joining the other Triblazers totaling to 34 women from the local fishing community. Discussions, analysis and votes on topics covered in 29th Provincial Chapter of the St. Alphonsus Loguiri Province of Campo Grande, Brazil concluded on the afternoon of Thursday, 18 April 2024. Having begun the previous Tuesday with mass and retreat chaired by Father Assis Moser SDB, the work was divided into four teams who analysed the texts sent from Rome to all Cilician presences and which had previously been analysed by the pre-chapter commission on the basis of the contributions sent by the confreres. During three intense days, Chapter members reflected on the centrality of Jesus Christ in the Cilician mission, especially with regard to service to young people, and they elected Father Adalberto Alves de Jesus, Rector of the Cilician Presence in Indapolis, as Provincial Delegate to the GC29, and Father Jao dos Santos Barbosa Neto, Director of the Shrine of Mary Help of Christians in Kurumba, as his substitute. A meeting of the members of the Association of Mary Help of Christians, ADMA, took place for the visit of their world spiritual animator, Father Gabriel Cruz, on Saturday 20th April in the provincial house of the St. Rose of Lima province, Peru. 82 members from centers in Lima and Magdalena del Mar Brena Calo, Rimac and Barrios Altos participated, as well as some representatives from the Cochisa community, which is about two hours from the capital. In addition, several members of the Pura and Huancayo centers joined online during the formation period. During the meeting, there was time for formation, prayer and shared existence. Solution Youth Ministry Week is a formative proposal that allows those who take part to grow in charismatic identity through study and experience. For six days, from 14 to 19th of April, 47 collaborators from different sectors and settings in the Solution Province of Ecuador ECU together experienced and were active in a continuous learning process that called them to a renewed commitment of shared responsibility between solutions and lay people for the mission of Don Bosco in Ecuador. Father Mauricio Lemi, Provincial Delegate for Youth Ministry, explained that through such initiatives, they try to bring participants closer to a deep experience of God in the street, in the playground and in the oratory. Keeping in view with honour the old age and time testing traditions of the Salishan congregation, the solemn and smooth handing and taking over ceremony of the INS Shillong province of St. John Paul II from the outgoing provincial Rev. Father Paul Olpindro Lincot, SDB, to the new provincial Rev. John Zosiama, SDB, held at Sacred Heart Theological College, Maulai, Shillong, witnessed by hundreds of Salishan confreres, sisters, civil authorities, prominent Catholic laity, members of Salishan families and collaborators here on April 24, 2024. The ceremony began with a solemn concelebration High Mass with Archbishop Victor Lingdor of the Shillong Archdiocese as the main celebrant in the company of not less than 100 priests representing the province of Guwahati, Dimapur, Hyderabad, Panaji, Goa, representative of the Rector Major, sons of Don Bosco from the Silesian Houses and parishes from the northeastern region of India. A word of gratitude to the outgoing provincial Reverend Father Paul Olfenro Lincot, who had remained 
through thick and thin, close to the church and in spreading the gospel in all his endeavours during his five years and eleven months service as the Salishan Provincial. After the solemn ceremony was over, there followed by farewell speech from the outgoing Provincial, Reverend Father Paul Olfinro Lincott, and a vision message from the newly installed Provincial, Reverend Father John Zosiama. Different houses of formation of the Salishan presented short but impressive cultural programs which concluded with delicious family dinner. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.